Hello everyone, this is Ben with Income Options Trading and today I wanted to go over a new feature in Tastyworks known as the Risk Analyzer. Uh, it just came out last night. Uh, today is September 21st. Uh, so I just wanted to do a quick video showing that, compare it to the existing analyzer tool and uh, show you how it works and see if how it can improve your trading. So. I'm just going to go into spy here and put on a uh, just a random trade here. So I, I'll do a buy, a put. And in Tastyworks, there is the curve mode. And if you click analysis, it will give you your uh, your PL curve at expiration and your theoretical, which is the orange line. Or a particular underlying or a particular position. So in this case, this is uh, all my positions in SPY, my open positions, and the order that I have in right now. So if I want to just have the order that I have in now, I can uncheck my open positions. And this gives me my risk graph for a particular uh, position in SPY. So like I said, this orange line is the theoretical, and this yellow line here is uh, at expiration. And then in the box, just to the upper right of my cursor, there is the P&L at expiration and theoretical value of today. So that gives you just one position or one underline. It doesn't have the power to look at other positions that you have um, in your portfolio. So I'm going to clear this out and I'm going to show you the risk analyzer. So I am using Tastyworks version 1.18.0. Uh, your Tastyworks platform should open and update. Um, if it hasn't updated yet, you can sign out and sign back in and that will push out the new update. And I'm going to go to capital requirement up in the upper right hand corner here. And first it brings up my capital requirement. So this gives you your buying power effect and your maintenance initial requirement and your BP usage. Uh, so first I'm going to check uh, this box right next to total. If you don't want the risk analyzer to have any particular position or underlines, you can uh, uncheck any box that you don't want included. But for this case, I'm going to include all of them. And then right up here, risk analysis. I'm going to click on that. I'm just going to open this a little bit further here. And we have our risk analyzer array. And uh, just going from the top here, so these totals are your P&L uh, in different steps. So the different steps are by default um, the maximum of negative 20% move and positive 20% move. Uh, so if you want to change a different range, you can move this over on the side and that will change uh, what step it is. For that particular underline. So I think 20% uh, is, is a little extreme, but um, you know this is this is a, a very big black swan event for a one-day move. Um, so I'm just going to use an example of 7%, which is the overnight circuit breakers. So if you go up and down, it'll change it by five, but if you highlight Oops, you can actually change the number manually. So I'm going to change the number to 7. That's a circuit breaker. And I'm going to do that for each one of these. And you can see down here um, are each of my positions. And uh, each position has its own P&L. Uh, as you change it. So if we look at this column, this is the negative 7% column. So this is saying on today's date, if we had a 
negative 7% move, uh, the MES price would go from 43.40, which is at right now, to 40.36, and this would be my P&L for each particular position. Uh, and this is based on some Black Shoals pricing models, and likewise for MNQ and SBY. And each step is a different uh, percentage drop or increase. So you can see each step uh, gets closer and closer to zero, uh, and then it's the same numbers on the positive side. And then if each of these moved by the same percentage, this would be your estimated P&L for that. So this is a good way to see, okay, if we had a overnight move that was negative 7% and you woke up in the morning, where would your P&L be? And this is saying that you would be down $3,500. And so this can be a good good way to look at your portfolio and say, oh boy, that's, that's more risk than what I want on for an overnight move. Uh, so one, one way you can analyze how to fix that is to put in a order and see how it changes your P&L. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to go into SPY again. And I'm just at the December 17th expiration. It's 87 days to expiration. I'm going to buy the at the money put. So I'm going to hit the ask for the 433 put. And you can see the metrics down here, the cost. And I'm not going to hit uh, send. So if I move my webcam here, I'm not going to hit review and send. I'm going to leave this order just sitting. I'm going to move that back. And I'm going to go back to the position tab, go back into capital requirement, and I'll actually open that up all the way. And up in the upper right hand corner, I can click add order legs. When I do that, you'll see down here comes my one put that I have an order in for. This is what this symbol is for. And you can see how my P&L changed for this negative 7% overnight move. So if I remove all order legs, it'll get rid of that order. So you can see that originally we're at 3460. And if we add a second order, or add order legs, excuse me, for that one put, now I'm at negative 1600. So I cut my risk by about $2,000 by adding this put. And if you wanted to see, you know, if you wanted this number to be closer to zero, you could go back into SPY and your order is still up. I'll just change the quantity to two. Go back to the position tab. Click on capital requirement here. And it hasn't updated yet. So if I remove all order legs and then click add order legs again. Now my order is updated to two. And you can see now my negative 7% move is uh, a positive number. So this takes out all my risk to the downside by buying these two at the money puts. Of course, there is a uh, con to that. And if you watch the positive side, uh, that the cost for those puts get taken out of the upside. So that's, that's the takeaway or the, the give up for that. But um, I think this is pretty cool that you can... Uh, add different orders and see how it affects your P&L. And also that this looks at your portfolio as a whole. And you can see, you know, if the market has a drastic move up or down, how is my account going to actually do? Uh, so you can see my account here, it's a lot of uh, short strangles. So that's why if I remove here, you can see that on both wings, I'm, I would be down quite a bit with a giant move uh, just because short strangles want smaller moves. Um, so I think that touches on about everything at a high level with this uh, risk analyzer. You can also change the IV for any particular leg if you wanted to. See how that affects it. Uh, you can also change the price. So you can, you can say, okay, what if MES is, you know, at, let's call it 4200 and you want to evaluate it for this Friday you know, then a 7% move from that price is given here. Uh, 
So that's another way you can um, adjust this. Is you can also change the date. And one other cool thing with this is if we go to whoops. So you can see my expiration. My earliest one is October 29th. So if I go to November 1st, which is a Monday, it will gray out or uh, it makes it a little bit lighter or darker um, for showing that this is a uh, expired option. So you can uncheck that if you want or leave it unchecked. But as you move the date, uh, that will not change. Um, so I think that's all I wanted to touch on. And again, this is a brand new feature with Tastyworks. Uh, they will be updating this. Um, they talked about it on the show today live. Um, they want to add like beta weighted deltas, I think, um, and probably add more metrics and also be able to uh, modify some things a little bit easier, I think. Um, one thing that I would like to see is, you know, if I change this, I would like to have an option to change each symbol. Um, just because up at the top here, this total isn't going to be representative um, how I think. Because you might you might change this to negative 17%, and this, this value changes a lot. But these MNQ and SBY are still at negative 7%. So... Uh, it's nice to have that flexibility, but if you had a lot of different symbols and you wanted all of them to go to negative 17%, it would be nice to be able to adjust that uh, with one click. So like I said, this is what Tastyworks. I should have it available at version 1.18.0. Uh, if you don't have Tastyworks already, I will have a referral link in the description below. Uh, if you sign up now, I think through the end of September, they have a crypto promo where if you fund your account with, I think, $500, you get $50 in crypto for free. And if you fund it with $2,000, you get $200 in crypto for free. I believe that's the promo running through the end of September. And then I'm not sure what the next uh, promo is starting in October. They usually always have a promo, but I have not uh, seen or heard what their next promo is. Uh, if you have any other questions on the platform or any trading questions in, uh, in general, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, I also have a Discord if you are if you want to interact, you know, have a trading community. Uh, I trade or I post all my trades, my trade strategies. Uh, you get access to my trade logs and I answer any questions that people have on there right away. Uh, it's through my gold membership and it's $10 a month. I think that's pretty reasonable. Um, and if you have questions on that, leave them in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, thanks for watching, everyone.